Hello, this is the Game Drop Zone Game of the Year Awards, I guess, and this is Best Soundtrack. We've got a lot of... 2014. Don't forget the year. 2014, yep. (laughs) Got a lot of uh, choices in here. Yes, so uh, let's start at the top of our list, our digital list. We have Transistor. Now, basically what we've done is we picked out a couple of songs from each, or one song from each, and, uh, you know, just to highlight what we really like about that soundtrack, and maybe we'll post them in some form on the site. But, yeah, we've got Transistor, uh, Velocity 2X, Destiny, Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. That game is sick. It's pretty pumping. Uh, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Akiba's Trip on Dead and Undressed. Halo Master Chief Collection and The Crypt of the Necro Dancer. To uh, start off, I just want to mention that the Destiny is not the Paul McCartney song, unfortunately. Oh, fuck. I wanted to. Right. I went back and I was trying to listen to the credits the other day because for this very reason I wanted to discuss it on the podcast, but. But uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't get very far after like two minutes of listening to the thing. I turned it off, but I couldn't <laughs> hear it. I couldn't see it. I'm sure it's in there, but I couldn't find it. It's a shame. <sighs> right. Let's start with Destiny then, since you brought it up. Uh, what's the guy's name? Marty O'Donnell? Marty O'Donnell. Marty O'Donnell, a uh, composer of the old Halo games. And like, I thought the Destiny soundtrack, along with the, the style of the game, was like some of the better things about it. It the soundtrack is fantastic. Definitely felt like mysterious and sci-fi-ish. It had more story in Destiny soundtrack than there was in the actual game. <laughs> like, yeah, I've got that. I bought the soundtrack on my phone, which is probably dumb. It's probably on Spotify or something. Yeah, it's really good. Like, I picked out the uh, Last Array and the Excerpt One from the Rose as two of the songs to highlight. Yeah, they're just uh, they're really good songs. Like, the Last Array is more actiony. That kicks in on one of the missions, at like quite key timing. So it's like I don't want to say it's emotional, but like it fits the mood at the time. A lot uh, of the mu- ro- sorry, I was gonna say a lot of the music sounds very Halo-ish, where it's like setting up the tone and the, uh, I guess the area you're in. But yeah. then you do get a yeah. few tunes that just like really pump, get like you know faster and more pumped up. Yeah, I guess you didn't really see it in the Halo games until Reach. Like, I always think back to, you know, the Winter Contingency, that first level of Reach. Oh, God, where, yeah. Where, like, the elites jump out at you in the in the facility. And, it, and the oh, guitar just kicks in, like... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's what that's I what, think of when I think of Halo soundtrack now. Yeah, that's what the last array kind of... It was less good than that scene, but it was still really good. Mm. And then I can't remember where Except from Rose came from, but it's, like, a really uh, a nice orchestral piece, which is, like, quite moody, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I really like the uh, soundtrack of Destiny. Which, uh, do you want to talk a bit about Pokemon? I mean, we both played it. Yeah, Pokemon, the remastered soundtrack in Pokemon Auras is amazing. It's a lot, like the original games were very like bit tuny or 8-bit sounding. Like the trumpets overpowered everything in it. But in this, it's like a full orchestral thing that's been you know, recorded for it. And it just sounds incredible. I think I don't like some of the music in any. Well, I don't really like Pokemon music, but uh, there's that one village, and I can, can't remember the name of it again. But Vanden Vandurf, Verdenturf. Yeah, yeah sure, Verdenturf. But yeah, well, that place. I just remember because I've been like flicking the. I don't tend to have the music on for most of it, but I flick it on whenever there's like a different scene or battle because they do some really cool cinematic parts in in that game. And I try to do it every time I get to a new location, a new route, and. Uh, yeah, I really liked some of it, and some of the others I just don't like because it's not music for me. But yeah, yeah so also, uh, a lot of it for me is nostalgia. Like I've put so much out, so many hours into Generation Three Pokemon. Just hearing the music again is amazing to me. Yeah, like that's well, it was the generation I grew up on. I mean, I played uh, the re- was it the remasterings of the original games, the Fire, Fire and the Green. Yeah, I played them, but aside from that, I basically just played Ruby and Sapphire. I. I've played all of the, all of them, like starting from the very beginning. But I put the most time to Generation Three. I mean, I I can see it not winning this category because there's a lot of great soundtracks in here. I haven't heard the rival music. One of the soundtracks you pointed out for that game was the rival music. I don't think I've heard that in the game yet. Really? No. Um, well, like I say, I don't often have the soundtrack on unless I think that I should do for this category. But 
It'll be every time you face May or Brendan, depending on which character you chose to play as. Do they fight you? I'm listening to it now, which obviously the person listening to this podcast wouldn't know. But yeah. uh, do they fight you less in that game? Like, I remember the rivals being an asshole, and I've only fought May like twice at the minute, and I'm like 18 hours in. Uh, no, they they fight you the same amount, but they appear more in the story. Like before, you would just be left on your own to work out what you're doing. Instead, now like May pops out and says, "Oh, we're now going to this cave to find the professor. Come on." Yeah, they. Uh, I know she guides you to some of the cities, so you don't have to walk all the way back on your own. Yeah, which is pretty nice because you don't have fly at this point in the game. But yeah, it's. Uh, I'm listening. That music's pretty good, actually. That's like, like some it. persona level shit. That's like the first song I turned my volume all the way up to listen to. Yeah, that, that's a really good song. I'll have to remember next time. You know? Do you ever? You know how uh, a character Wally? Yeah. What does what does he do? I remember him vaguely. I think he's in the originals, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. What did he do? I don't remember anything about him. I just remember I've just met him like a few times now. He's uh, basically sick, and you know he's. I don't know if he's dying or not, but he's just sick, and you help him get a Pokemon, which is a Ralts, yeah. and he slowly gets better over time and gets stronger. And I think that's because of the Ralts, uh, its ability. I can't remember, or it's just, you know, because he's traveling with Pokemon and he's happy and stuff, but, uh, yeah, he's basically your competitive rival, uh, whereas me and Brendan are just kind of like the friendly rival that will kick your ass in battles, but then they're like, oh, congratulations, you beat me. I kind of missed the, uh, was it Black and White, or maybe Black and White 2, where the rival was like an utter asshole? Yeah. And they just kept fighting you all the time, and they'd get, like, really round up whenever the, uh, oh, was it Team Plasma? Yeah. Team Plasma would appear and they'd like run off screaming to the side of the screen and stuff. Yeah, that was black and white too. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Music pretty awesome. in that game was like very, very guitarish. There's just I, a lot of I, guitars everywhere. I don't remember any of that music. I need to start listening to. Like the thing is, the speakers on the DS are really bad. Yeah. And I don't want to wear headphones when all the time I'm playing that because I'm normally playing it for hours at a time. Hmm. But yeah, that yeah, rival music is good. Right. We'll move that to the top of the list for now. I think. Uh, do you want to talk about Transistor? Yeah, Transistor's really good. It's uh, and the ones, the tracks I pointed to were Old Friends, which is a uh, quite a moody piece. It's probably well, I don't want to say it's the theme of the game, but it's always what I think of when I think of that game's music. Yeah. And then uh, we all become with the vocals of uh, Ashley Barrett. It's really good. Like really, uh, gives me chills when I listen to it. Kind of good. Yeah, it it sounded really nice. It's a, it sets the, really, it's one of those, well, I think all these games are really great because the music works, you know, with the visuals and they really set the tone to the game. And yeah. Transistor was a, it was a really nice soundtrack. It worked really well. I, at one point, I think it was on the PS4 dashboard, if you just hover over the game on the list, then it will like pop down all information about your friends playing and stuff and it will just play the music and I think that was Old Friends. So I remember when I was writing the review for that game, I just had my PS4 on on the dashboard just listening to that music for the entire time. That's pretty cool. It was a yeah, it's a cool soundtrack. I don't think it deserves to win this category though. I think there were cool games on here. I think the badass soundtrack of Velocity 2X, for example, is pretty cool. Probably so, better. You want to talk about that one next? Because I was <sighs> going to talk about something else there. It's uh, Velocity is another like um, I played it on the Vita mostly, and I popped it on the PS4 for about an hour or so to play it before the review came up because I had cross it was cross by and it was free on PSN so yeah it's a yeah it's just a badass soundtrack a lot of electric I don't know what to call it like techno I guess uh, yeah I suppose it's just it's cool we'll uh, like I say we'll try to find a way of getting some of these samples onto the site maybe link it to the Amazon page or the Spotify list or something but mm. they, they really are worth listening to they, like I think the velocity soundtrack is good on its own but uh, what, which was the game you wanted to jump to? Having just listening, listened to Warriors Orochi Free Ultimate, I want to say that so that is amazing. It's got mad guitar riffs, and it sounds like it belongs on a DDR machine. Yeah, uh, oh, the soundtrack of that game is so good because it's like it's the ultimate version of like Warriors Orochi Three, which I think is like this is maybe the third, or fourth release of it. And each time they do a release of a Warriors game, they add like new levels, the characters, 
and soundtrack, like game modes onto it and stuff. So you're always getting a, a quite a different game if you buy the next one. Yeah. But, uh, the soundtrack is huge in that game, and the one we I sent you to listen to was Halfline Extended, I think it's called. We'll uh, again we'll tag it on the site, but it's not the one I pointed. It's not the one I wanted to point to. I think the camp music is better because the camp is like proper J-pop. And really? It doesn't fit with anything in the game, but it's so cool to listen to. And I couldn't find a, I couldn't find it anywhere online hosted. I'm gonna have to listen to the entire soundtrack for this. I mean, the song you pointed out. I was sat in my chair, like, getting hyped up just listening to it. Oh, it's sick. Those guitar riffs are sick. It is, yeah. They're really, uh... You're right, it's, like, basically pulled from a DDR machine. I think... I, I forgot how good the game's soundtrack was before we started this. <laughs> I don't know. That might be better than Destiny. It might be better than Destiny. It might be better than Pokemon. We might forget about this entire category and just give it to that game. <laughs> well, oh, I think so this... You have to talk about Akiba's trip, undead and undressed, because... <laughs> I mean, Akiba strip, get it? Get it? I'm just going to leave right now. So that game is like, a, uh, sit on the streets of Akihabara, aka Akiba, and uh, you're basically, it's fucking weird, like, you wake up in this weird facility or something underground, with these kind of vampiric people who are in fact vampires. And like you're collecting figurines because you're like, I they don't really explain where you're from, but you're part of this club which is super nerdy. But you're patrolling the streets, so to fight these vampires, you've got to pull the clothes off them so they'll die in sunlight, or be knocked out in sunlight or whatever. And if you lose, if your clothes are pulled off because you're made a vampire, it's fucking weird. But uh, the soundtrack's kind of like Warriors Orochi, but maybe less extreme. Yeah, I mean, I only listened listen to a bit of it, but there was a lot of there was some that sounded very J poppy in there. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh, I fucking... I don't know, dude, it's Japan. Like, you know what the soundtrack's like. Well, you don't know what it's like, that's the point, but... Yeah. It's really cool. I don't think it's as good as Warriors, though. Like, I think they hit the same notes, the same sort of, like, weird... Like, J-pop one minute, guitar the next sort of thing, but... I don't think it does it as extremely. Yeah. Uh, what about the Halo Master Chief collection? I've this heard of... First time listening to the Halo 2 soundtrack, which I think is the... Aside from Halo 4, is probably the best soundtrack. I've heard a lot of the Halo Master Chief soundtrack. Uh, Master Chief Collection fact. soundtrack. No, I've heard most of it sat on the loading screens looking for multiplayer games, so I'm <laughs> very familiar with a few set songs. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think I was pissed off when they removed, or at least uh, did a bad cover of my favorite song, Follow, from Halo 2. Like, the one that they put in the game as the remastered soundtrack, is it either not the same song or it is not very good? It just didn't hit the guitar riffs that Follow had. For that reason, it can't win. It can't win. It can't win. But that soundtrack is really good. Granted, it's four soundtracks, so it's hardly fair. Yeah. But Which is your favorite Halo soundtrack? Because mine's four. Mine is ODST. Yeah, yeah. That'll be coming soon to that collection, I guess. I, gonna... I don't know if it's considered a game or not, but I may have added it to most anticipated game for 2015. Well, the patched in Halo 3 ODST campaign. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. I guess we'll discuss it more then, I guess, when we get to that category. Uh, Everyone can find more on www.gamedropzone.com. Yep, find a review on there. Very comprehensive review. You reviewed it for us. Gave yep. it a 3 out of 5? Yep. Yeah, it's not a, not a great game. Disappointing. Uh, final game Crypt of the Necrodancer. Which is a weird one because neither of us have played it. I was going to say, I see the tag here, but I never played it, and you're the one who added it. I've seen a lot of that game. The soundtrack's great. Like, uh, Well, the soundtrack in the first zone is great, and that's kind of the problem I have with it, is that if you go to some of the later zones, they're less interesting. Mm. Like the soundtrack in the first... Well, Crypto Necrodancer is a, a roguelike, or light. I don't know. It's one of those games anyway. But uh, you kind of have to like move and fight into the rhythm, because like a, this beat going on and the floor beats and it's like it's really good soundtrack, but yeah, it gets kind of progressively worse from what I've heard of it. It doesn't hold up. No, I mean uh, we had Trace Vector on this list as well, which is a game where you're literally just choosing paths for this vector line to go down, which is not a great game. But the soundtrack's really good, unlike the first three levels, and then like, <laughs> the next four or five or whatever a bit. Yeah, it's not as they don't. You can't. I guess you can't do the same like techno soundtrack for the entire time but mm. it's just I disappointing 
I like that we chose, you know, actual games with soundtracks rather than going like Just Dance or GTA V. Oh, fucking GTA V remastered. They've got ZZ Top in the soundtrack. God damn it. That should have been on this list. Nope. Too late. I think it's Give Me All Your Lovin'. Or is it Sharp Dressed Man? Right. I think it's Give Me All Your Lovin'. Okay. So, uh, well, which do you prefer there? Which is your favourite? I think Warriors RG3 Ultimate is I, maybe my favourite, but I'm worried that's because we've like, just got mad into the guitar riffs. <laughs> I, I've not heard a lot of the soundtrack, but from what I did hear, hear it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, that's only the that's only the battle music, like, like I say, in the menus or in the camp, I guess, you've got just J-pop bullshit. Like, and it's I, really... I love J-pop, this game wins right now. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's great, but it's weird. It's certainly not for everyone, but... I, yeah, I think that's my favourite. I think Pokemon's, Pokemon's like a mixed bag for me, but I can appreciate what they've done in the remastering. Mm. And I certainly think that some of the soundtracks are really good, just some of them I don't care for. And then Destiny's just, you know, it's I, Mario O'Donnell doing what Mario O'Donnell does. I'm happy for Warriors RG3 Ultimate to win. Somewhere out there, on a distant planet, Paul McCartney's shedding a tear right now. <laughs> no, he's not, because he's think, hoping to the future. Oh, he's the shedding a ton of tears. To the sky. Do you reckon that he knew what he was doing with that music video? No, I reckon he pushed him into a green screen room, told him to sort of stand there and sing. Yeah, and wear this suit and look awkward. Yeah. I can tell you anything about it. Like, they never sent a copy of it to the agents. They just somehow published it to the Vivo channel. Do you reckon they had people in mocap suits actually crouching around him as he sang... No, they're the in-game animations. <laughs> like, I could literally get two people and go and do that myself. I'm just like, maybe we should. Maybe that's how we should present this. Just like, us talking on a green screen. <laughs> the dumbest thing. The dumbest thing. So, a winner for best soundtrack of 2014 is... Drumroll. I'm waiting for you. Oh, sorry. Uh, War- I, I thought I already said it. War- Warriors are chief free ultimates. Yep. Yes, it is. It's a great soundtrack. Go listen to it. Adios. Right, wait, 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 wait. Adios. Let's talk about what our next video is. Oh, you and your You've jumped regimented into structure. I'm just excited. Games of the year, they're great. So the, on, next, the, next category? Next, the next video, which will be out tomorrow, is for the best new character. We have some interesting choices in there. This character's in there I don't even know the name of. <laughs> it's great. Check it out. <laughs> www.gamedropzone.com Don't go to GameDropZone.com. Put the WW in, or you'll go to some weird sites. Don't tempt fate. Adios. Ciao.